Now the moment you've all waited for, the main event! Get out while you can! If he dies, he dies. Much like the iconic Rocky Balboa himself, the glory days of the arcade boxing genre are well behind it. Hell, when Midway's respectable Ready to Rumble Boxing first laced up its gloves, the president of Russia was Boris Yeltsin, Justin Timberlake was merely the tallest guy in NSYNC, and putting on a Marvel movie meant watching Wesley Snipes kill a bunch of vampires. Modern iterations just don't have the same magic, and while Big Rumble Boxing Creed Champions is an earnest enough budget-priced trip back to 1999, Developer Servios' attempt to breathe a little life into unpretentious arcade pugilism that's two decades past its prime is honestly pretty disappointing. This is actually Servios' second licensed boxing game based on the Rocky and Creed film saga. Its first was 2018's well-regarded VR game Creed Rise to Glory. Unlike Creed Rise to Glory, however, Creed Champions is an entirely non-VR experience and the two games have little in common beyond the same modest array of uninspiring and cliched fantasy boxes that Servios has recycled from Creed Rise to Glory. Can't believe it. Creed Champions' take on the sweet science is simple enough to understand, with a straightforward two-button approach to strikes, a single button for special punches, and a button to block, which doubles as the button to slip punches and land counters if you time it right. Boxes fit into a handful of different styles, and there's definitely a noticeable difference between the Swarmers and the Sluggers. Button mashing will certainly suffice on the lowest difficulty setting in most instances, and if it doesn't, loading up on powerful hooks and uppercuts from afar tends to get the job done. Hell yeah! That changes on the higher settings, however, where opponents are cannier and quicker to pulverize you with combinations and slip counters. Here, you must play more strategically by dodging, answering your opponent's attempted counter punches with instant counter punches of your own, and making doubly sure they're committed to throwing a punch at you before activating your special attack, which will prevent them from being able to block it. <coughs> There's nothing necessarily terrible about Creed Champions' casual pick-up-and-play approach, although it's pretty weird how your boxers can't make small movements without looking like they're in slow motion. I also find it incredibly annoying that the AI is somehow able to interrupt my special punches with their own special punches, even though I could never do the same. It's also pretty irritating that the AI is almost always able to get up milliseconds before the 10 count after three knockdowns, while getting up after a third knockdown for me was rare as it requires woodpecker-like reflexes that threaten to turn my thumb to dust. Eight, nine, ten. No, I think she Creed Champions is not especially stunning to look at, and its arenas in particular seem quite plain and plagued by repetition. For instance, sure, the pitches on the wall at Delphi Gym seem authentic, but the same pitches are on every wall. It's a simple thing, but it gives you an idea of the level of attention to detail you'll find throughout. The bigger problem, however, is really the startling lack of things to do. Arcade mode features individual arcade towers for each character, although as a Rocky fan, the only ones I found mildly interesting were for the official movie characters like Rocky and Apollo, and I've absolutely no desire to ever play them again. Rocky's story doesn't even cover all the films up until Rocky Balboa and his bout with Mason Dixon. It just stops at Rocky IV. I must pick you. Even Ubisoft's Rocky Legends in 2004 included Rocky V's brawl with Tommy Gunn, the story segments play out in text boxes accompanied by simple grunts and exclamations <laughs> alongside a stock pose from the boxes in one of a limited set of emotions. These are the times where Creed Champions more resembles a stereotypical mobile game, and it looks cheap and lacks personality. The closest thing it has to a cutscene looks like two pieces of clip art fighting in a Monty Python interstitial. <laughs> The approach is also regularly clumsy, with dialogue flipping between being attributed to the main character of the story and a narrator, which is actually just the same person. Mm. The matches are broken up with training montages that are ultimately pointless, as boxers have no skills or stats to improve and the score you get seems meaningless. <laughs> 
The presentation also clashes with established Rocky fiction. I'll concede that switching Rocky and other characters from Southpaw to Orthodox or vice versa depending on what side of the screen they're on is just a side effect of Creed Champions' arcade approach. However, little things like letting us play out the legendary third secret fight between Rocky and Apollo in front of dozens of people did make me cringe a little as a huge fan of the film series. Outside of arcade mode, all Creed Champions has is a versus mode where you can fight individual bouts against the AI or a friend, and a training mode. With no online functionality, however, all training mode can do is help you be better at Creed Champions than the people who either already live at your house or are willing to visit. You can eat as much lightning as you want, but if you're just going to crap thunder all over your mates, I doubt they'll want to play Creed Champions with you for long. That's how winning is done! There's a smattering of objectively incredible music lifted from the movies, but the little other music that's been included pales in comparison to the likes of Bill Conti and Survivor and gets repetitive almost instantly. Better run! Big Rumble Boxing Creed Champions is easy to pick up and play, but it has very little to keep folks hanging around, even for Rocky and Creed Saga superfans. It simply doesn't have the modes, the content, or the atmosphere to truly go the distance. Yo, Adrian, I did it! I did it! For more on hard-hitting sports, check out IGN's review on Madden 22, and for a recap of the famous film franchise, check out our summary of Rocky and Creed in 7 minutes. For everything else, I pity the fool who doesn't stay on IGN. Hey, this one's for you!